Okay guys, back with you. We're just set up. You can see we're uh, touching pretty centered up there. Let's look at our back. This is our uh, R56 Turbo Mini Cooper. You can see we're on this back corner. And uh, that's about divided out, about as even and in for end as I can get it. All right, let's, uh, I think we'll uh, make our first, since we're down here, might as well go ahead and we'll cut it backwards. This machine will cut both directions. Zerd out on the DRO. We've got a dial back here. And zero that out. get down to the other end here and we'll take a look see you at it okay you can see we're we're cut true on the outside perimeter but this whole inside is raised and I said you know it's marginal to straighten the head a lot of times you can straighten the head and still be low in the middle like that so uh, let's take uh, let's take another four I'm going to slow the feed rate down. Got 8,000 stock on the DRO. I know on, on film, uh, 
it really looks much brighter in person. Let's uh, see our, let's check that end cylinder uh, in between, the, I believe that's uh, number uh, three and four. Let's see what that looks like. I'm sure all the rest of it cleaned up except for that low area. Most of you who watch the channel know that I don't like to take off any more than I have to. Cleaned up uh, this discrepancy out in here. There you go. And that's why you don't put a head gasket on, don't try to fix it, you know. And on this job, usually on these Mini Coopers, we uh, deck the block as well as the head because we found that the uh, cylinders drop in the middle. So when we get through that everything's flat. So, all right, let's, uh, we'll go back down here. Uh, okay. We're going to cut 11 and see what that looks like. There's a little bit of a cutout in that where the uh, head gasket kind of burned it. So, but let's see what it looks like with 11. That's what I was guessing. It was about 11. But, of course, you can't measure the little divot in the middle. Not easily, anyways. You can do it with a dial indicator. But it'd be checking it off of a... Uh, surface that wasn't flat. There you go, we almost got it. Got uh, like uh, one, two, three, and four. Four little places there. And, and actually, those places there, they would probably go ahead and seal, but we'll... Uh, Take another pass and see what it looks like. That is 11 thousandths. And there again, you guys see why I do not use the, uh, I won't say the brand name, why I do not use the pads. I use my file trick with uh, the sandpaper, emery. Um, as you can see, that I did not make that any worse than what it was. You actually, you can barely feel that with your finger. Let's take one more cut here. There we go, I reduced the uh, feed rate, uh, so we're going to be um, machine for MLS gasket. We go 12 thousandths.
Okay, guys, I've got one little speck right there. You can't even really feel it. I mean, just a very little. I'm going to take one more thou. I'm going to call it a day. I mean, that would go ahead and seal, but we'll just see if we can get, pick it up, and uh, that'll put us at uh, two thousandths more than I found with a feeler gauge. And typically, uh, whatever you can find with a straight edge and a feeler gauge, that's about what it will take to clean it up. You can see what uh, basically uh, twelve thousandths looks like. There on the table. You can. There you go, 13. We're going to give this uh, little Mini Cooper another life. Some of them never lasted very good to begin with. I think uh, we fixed some with as low as, I, I believe the lowest mileage was 56,000. You can almost see yourself. On the previous video, you notice I, uh, I didn't talk about it, but there was some damage on the uh, top of the head where the head, in fact, had been dropped. That had happened long before I had ever seen it. But my word, that thing had, it was swelled up there probably 15, 20 thousandths. It was really bad. I'll just let it traverse down and then we'll take a look, see, and see if we got that last little spot out. We're getting close. We're within a half a cylinder. I know these videos were kind of long and but I appreciate you all staying with me on this. There we go. I mean you can just barely see you can't 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 feel anything. Actually and what that what you're seeing there is just uh, coloring from my Sharpie that was probably in a little porosity or something. All right. Well, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video, and I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day. Thank you very much.